All around the world, people are taking active steps to address the impacts of climate change which have become part of their daily lives. The challenge is to select the most effective adaptation measures and implement them on a large scale. Climate change poses a serious threat to many countries. As CO2 levels continue to rise in the atmosphere, the risk of loss and damage from extreme weather and slow onset events also increases. Climate Risk Management, or CRM, aims at reducing the negative consequences of climate change through an integrated and participatory approach. It comprises the following three steps. Assessment of climate risks, selection of CRM measures, decision-making and implementation. In order to effectively manage climate-related risks, it involves a combination of proven and innovative instruments. However, effective and sustainable application of CRM requires knowledge, skills and experience. Therefore, GIZ implements a global program specifically for climate risk assessment and management on behalf of the German Ministry of Economic Cooperation and Development. One of its main goals is to enhance capacities for CRM in vulnerable regions of the world. On the one hand, the program organizes technical conferences for experts and practitioners. On the other hand, the global program offers a modular training course on CRM. Donc c'est une formation qui est assez complète et c'est une formation qui a été pensée pour être euh, vraiment euh, très interactive. It is specifically designed for political decision makers, technical staff of government institutions, NGO experts, members of the private sector or researchers in partner countries. The training course consists of several modules. Managing climate risks, the basics, international policy, comprehensive climate risk management, mainstreaming and financing. Module 3 can be extended with an extra focus on the private sector or on financial instruments. The content follows a hands-on methodology. It can be adjusted by local trainers both to the respective context and to specific areas of interest. Additionally, several e-learning formats of the training course are available. So far, the training has been implemented in several countries and regions of the world, including Central America, the Caribbean, West and East Africa, India, the Mekong region and the Philippines, with a total amount of 250 participants. In Laos, the training course was combined with a regional conference. The 60 invited experts discussed strategies for building climate resilience in Southeast Asia while specifically engaging and cooperating with the private sector. For the regional training in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, 18 participants from seven East African countries were invited to develop CRM approaches for their respective countries. The course was complemented by a field trip to flood-prone areas. In addition, the participants supported a local tree planting initiative at the city's largest landfill site. In Senegal, a technical conference was combined with a full CRM training course focusing on climate finance and insurance. 60 decision makers, practitioners, scientists and activists seized the opportunity to exchange their experiences on enhanced climate action in West Africa. Alors, ce genre de conférence est, est très utile. Euh, car il regroupe tous les, les spécialistes, euh, les experts euh, qui sont plus ou moins euh, intéressés par cette, euh, par cette thématique. Euh, ce qui est aussi important, c'est de voir que nous avons des représentants du secteur privé, nous avons des représentants au niveau étatique, nous avons des, des représentants de la société civile et euh, également des, des institutions qui sont là. The risk of climate-related loss and damage remains alarming. However, enhanced capacities for CRM contribute to stronger climate resilience around the world. <laughs>